Good morning, everyone. I was about to um, paint my base coats for tonight's class, and I thought that maybe you all would like to um, see how that's done. Perhaps you can get your tumbler prepared and painted if you want to follow along tonight when we do the epoxy glitter step of our um, tumbler that we're going to make in class. So um, I just grabbed two of the tumblers that I stripped last weekend. This one was really thick. It had like three layers of epoxy and paint. So it didn't strip all the way, but that's okay because I'm going to paint it and glitter it. So it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. Of course, you're going to be using a new tumbler. So you don't have to worry about this. So that's that one. And then, of course, on this one, I decided to do um, the bottom taped off because I want that to remain silver or the stainless. So I cut a three inch circle out of vinyl. You can use um, contact paper if you like, it's cheaper. And then I did electrical tape around here, getting as close as I could to that line that's on the bottom of these cups. And once I've done that, um, I overlap it and I seal that little place where it overlaps with my nail. <clears throat> and I'll leave a little tab. See if you can see that little tab. And then when I'm done with my epoxy, I can just peel it right off. And it leaves a nice clean line. So what I'm going to do first is um, sand the cup. I'll show you what I do for that. I just grabbed a piece of sandpaper. This one's pretty rough texture. It's 220. You can use any. I wouldn't use something super fine like 1500. It's not really going to scuff it that much. So what you're going to do is you're just going to um, sand your tumbler and just scuff it up and just press it all up. And the reason for this is you want something for your paint to adhere to. You're giving your um, tumbler a more rough surface so that paint will grab onto it. Okay, I'm going to pause for a moment. I'm going to continue sanding all the way around until it's nice and scuffed up. And then I'm going to run inside and wash it and I'll come right back. Okay, so the tumbler has been washed and, and dried and I'm going to be using this pink. So I wanted to do one of my tumblers with the white base coat and one with the pink base coat just to show you guys um, what the end result will be if you use a different color base coat. The one that I'm going to paint with white, the color will be a little brighter, and the one that I'm going to paint with the pink will be a little more rich. So that, I thought we could kill two birds with one stone showing you the difference. So we're going to use the pink on the 30 ounce. And again, this has been sanded and washed. So now we're just going to paint. I'm out on my deck. Um, it's, I'm hoping no bugs get in it because sometimes little gnats fly. So you're going to take the paint. And then all you're going to do is um, go back and forth motion. So you're going to go a couple of passes. And then turn it. Now for the glitter tumblers, of course, I got a paint can that's acting wonky. So, yet again, we're going to pause and I'm going to grab another can. I don't know what's up with these cans lately. Just a moment. All right, I'm back. And this time I got um, the paint I said I don't like, Krellon. So, we're going to try it and cross our fingers. Um, this one is Mambo Pink. And I got it at Hobby Lobby. Um, Home Depot, I believe, sells Krellon. Don't pay $6 for a can of paint. Okay. So we just go back and forth, just lightly coating it, and then just go all the way around, and back and forth. I usually focus on getting um, the top edge and the bottom edge. The middle, you know, it doesn't have to be completely covered because we're going to use glitter, and the idea is to have... Um, a base coat on here so that the stainless doesn't show. It's a lot easier to cover. So, um, what you're going to want to do is let this, ideally you're going to let this sit maybe five or ten minutes to dry before you do a next coat. Um, I think we're okay. 
because the first coat here was pretty light. And I know some of you are saying, well, that's why you get drips, because you paint it too soon. But normally I do wait. Okay, and that's really all you do. If you get runs, um, on some colors you won't be able to see the runs, but on white or light colors, you definitely can see those. If you get runs, just um, let the cup dry really good, and then take some fine sandpaper, maybe 1500 grit or some steel wool, and just stay in the area, wash it, and just go back over, like, you know, maybe a little touch up like that a couple of times. Of course, I might get a run from doing that. All right. So that's all you do. And you can see it's not perfectly coated. Um, and again, that's fine. We just want to have a little bit of color on the background so that it's um, not showing silver. So then we can put this somewhere to dry. And we'll do our white. And again, shake your paint really good. Sorry about the background noise. I think my neighbor's building something. Okay, so again, this one, I'm going to paint the entire cup so the bottom isn't taped off. And I don't tape my tops. I personally don't like that look. So, that's all we're going to do is... Give it a little spray. And again, this cup has been sanded and washed. And since this does still have um, some of the dark color underneath. I probably will come back in about 20 minutes, 10 or 20 minutes, and um, spray it again. But one coat with this Krylon or this Rust Oleum paint, one coat is generally enough. So anyway, that's how you do it. Just um, sand, wash, and paint, and um, get ready for the class tonight. So. I hope that helped somebody. It's, this one was an extra terrible video. Sorry.